Good evening, members of the gallery, staff and councillors. I declare the November OCM of the 18th of November open at one minute past 7pm. I'd like to also welcome Freeman of the Shire, Colin Rankin, who's with us this evening. I'd like to acknowledge the Noongar people of the Budja, the land that we gather on today. For thousands of years, their connection to country has provided knowledge, guidance, spirituality and life. We pay our respects to this ongoing connection, as well as their elders, past, present and emerging. I'd like to advise members of the gallery that tonight's meeting will be live streamed and also audio recorded. If you're asking a public question or making a statement or deputation this evening to this meeting, I would request that you take a seat at the table in front of me. Members of the public are also reminded that no other visual or audio recording of this meeting by any means is allowed. That brings us on to agenda item number one, which is attendance and apologies. There are nil apologies. That brings us on to agenda item number two. Agenda item number two is public question time. 2.1 is responses provided to public questions taking on notice. And you can see in the agenda there that there has been some answers provided to Mr Bill Denham, Mrs Vanessa Reynolds. To also to Mrs Michelle Rich. And that now brings on to agenda item 2.2, which is public questions. I declare public question time commence at 7.02pm. And I'd like to ask Mr Bill Denham to come forward and ask his questions. Thank you, councillors, officers, uh, Bill Denham. Regarding questions regarding steering groups and committees, internal ones, what officers or positions make up the membership of the internal steering groups and how often do they meet and are the minutes, meetings minuted? Thank you for the question, Mr Denham. I'll ask the Director of Community Engagement to please provide a response. Good evening, Mr Denham, and thank you for the question. Uh, the two groups are set up in accordance with the Shire's project management framework and each have a different role. The purpose of the Keenan Park Steering Group is to provide overall direction and management for the project within the constraints set by the Project Board, which is the Shire's Executive Management Group. The committee consists of the following primary members, uh, Project Sponsor, which is the Director of Community Engagement, Senior Supplier, the Director of Infrastructure Services, Senior Supplier, Director of Corporate Services, Project Management Office Lead, uh, which is the Manager of Governance and Strategy, uh, Senior Users, being the Manager of Community Activation, Manager Operations, and two members from the Department of Local Government, Sport and Cultural Industries, and the Project Manager. The purpose of the Kiernan Park Stakeholder Reference Group is to provide the Shire with advice in regards to the needs and priorities of sporting groups and the community in matters relating to the development of the Kiernan Park Recreation Precinct. Minutes are taken for both the committees and frequency of meetings has so far been dependent on the stage and progress of the project. Thank you, Director. Mr Denham, would you like to ask your second question? Thank you. Thank you. How many times has the Keenan Park Steering Group met in the last three years? And then B, how many times has the Keenan Park Stakeholder Group met? Uh, thank you for your second question, Mr Denham. This time I'd ask the Director of Infrastructure Services to please provide a response. 